You have eventually the, let's say, commodity certification, um, commodity meaning the timber certification you have from FSC or fair trade um, in uh, since about 20 years and now since 10 years that's when the gold standard was created you have the certification which goes beyond these commodities uh, which go into ecosystem services and ecosystem services like biodiversity water and here we're talking about carbon um, this is what our role is here um, to certify those ecosystem services and bring additional value to the forest That's correct, but I would, um, I would even argue that the, the entire carbon world, although uh, the individuals understand if I'm planting a tree, it's absorbing the carbon and it's carbon neutral because of this, I would say the market is uh, a B2B market, a business to business market. So it's really uh, the companies who have to, first of all, reduce their emissions and second of all, if they can't reduce it uh, fully because we're still flying, we're still using cars with fossil fuel, they, then they can go carbon neutral by buying carbon credits, for example. Yeah. I mean, there are several aspects on green growth, but one aspect is um, you're having growth also economically, um, but in a sustainable way. That's, that's what I would define in, in, in terms of green growth. And then you have to define what is sustainability. And we are acting, Goldstone is acting on behalf of 80 N NGOs around the world. And they're defining eventually the rules we're, we're creating. So they're defining what sustainability means today for them. This is changing over time. We can also see this in other standards like FSC. After 20 years, they had to revise their thinking of sustainability. Um, and, um, and so this is, this is what we are. We're eventually a melting pot for NGOs to be defining sustainability for the carbon sector. There are several uh, carbon markets uh, in this world. Well, first of all, we see there's a, a voluntary carbon market. It's not big, but there, it, it's existing, and that's where we are, or the, the uh, companies using our standard are mainly uh, selling their credits into. And there has been this Kyoto market, the UN market, where also companies have been selling carbon credits into, and uh, so we we also were linked to this market, so there were um, UN credits labeled as gold standard credits into this. And then you see emerging smaller markets, national markets, like in, in Chile or like in South Africa or in China. And uh, also here we are uh, engaging with the governments, um, so later on they are using our standards within those smaller markets. At the moment you have this small voluntary market, so you would have to look for buyers yourself. Um, it's not uh, a market at the moment where you could sell into uh, right away. Um, so at the moment it's quite difficult in my opinion uh, to, to, um, to get this value which you get out of the carbon credits to really monetize this value uh, really fast. But I hope um, that step by step the, these compliance markets which we had in the UN or which are happening then in these uh, emerging national markets is hopping back in, which means then later on that you would be able, if you would be doing an afforestation project in Chile, you could be selling into a national market and monetize this. And then it's working again. So we are setting at the moment the rules, but maybe they will only be applied in a couple of years um, in, certain, in certain markets.